Okay, we are holding at the Parak Shmini of Tamar Dvara. Um, to remind you, to refresh your memories, um, we're going through the different spheros and understanding how it works, Tachlis. Um, what's, what, are, what are we supposed to do about the fact of Midas HaYisoyed or Midas Netzach or what are, what, are, what are we supposed to do about it? So we're up to, we did Chesed Gvore Tiferes, and now we're up to, um, with the Paterman Dvore, of uh, triples together, which is Netzach Hoyde and So that's Parak Shmini, Heyach, Yargil, Ha'odam, Asmoy, Vemidais, Netzach, Hoyde, Yusoit. And the, the principle is that when HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the world, um, there was an or echad, or pashut, um, tachlis echad, and put it through the spheros, look at it like a prism, and hence the bria that we see around us, and it's not just the physical bria that you see, trees and oceans and beautiful people, but it's actually the, um, the ruchnius of the bria also goes through this, and, and all of these spheros culminate in a person, that's why um, if you look at the Kabbalistic charts, uh, it'll always be in the Tzuras HaAdam. The Tzuras HaAdam, Komas HaAdam, as it's called in, in the Russian of Kabbalah. The Komas HaAdam is the spheros, because all of these spheros culminate in a person. So it's important that we identify, discover, and act upon the, um, the Chesed, which is in us, that seems to be easy, the uh, Chesed, the Gvura, all these different. When it gets to Netzach and Hod, um, let's talk about those two, which always go together. Remember the spheres are Chesed, Gvura, Tifares, Netzach, and Hod, and then Yesod. So Yesod is, um, uh, is like Keser, meaning it's, uh, and, and then Malchus. So, so you have like two branches that, that, that are called, but don't get worried about all the Kabbalah. It doesn't make any difference. I'm just saying that uh, the, those are called the Shukayim to the Bria, the, the, the thighs, the legs, Netzach, and Hod. So that's like a, an Amud. He's starting to get very earthy in the Bria, where it's, it's not an esoteric idea, but it's like Malchus is the ultimate earth, earthliness. Malchus is when the earth permeates Ruchnius. That's what we want with Mashiach. Um, Yisod is, going backwards, Yisod is where all of that Ruchnius of the Bria, spirituality, um, ethereal godliness starts to hit ground. Yosef, Midas Yisod, Yosef Hayyab and Mitzrayim. Yosef was like being Makadish Gashmias in Mitzrayim. He was busy in Mitzrayim. Um, Mitzrayim is the ultimate Gashmias. Malchus, that's Mashiach ben Yosef. Then there's Mashiach ben David, which is the ultimate in Malchus, yeah? So before that, um, so it's easy to, it's relatively easy to understand Chesed and Gvura and Tiferis, which is, mixes the two things together. And then, you know, sort of a balance, if you will. Um, it's easy to understand, relatively easy to understand Yisoyed and Malchus. It's very difficult, always had a difficult time understanding Netzach and Hoyd, uh, like particularly Hoyd. Um, what, what, is, what does it even mean? And here, the term of does not explain, so I have to. Heich Yargul Adamatsu Midas Netzach Hoyd Yisoyed. Ulam besikune ha netzach va hoi xasam shutafim lishneim xasam yuchadim kolechalatsmai. On the one hand, um, each one of the these principles, netzach hoid and yesoid, are interconnected, and on the other hand, they're independent concepts. That's what all that means. Netzach ha hoi xasam, specifically netzach and hod. Tzasam mushutafim lishneim. Part of them are interrelated. Uxasam miyuchadim. And some of them, and, and in a different way, they're independent concepts, kol echad la'atzmo, each one to itself. And then he goes on to say what we should do. Let's just read it, and then I want to go back there. First thing is you have to support people to learn Torah. To give them all the support they need, whether you're helping them, the Talmidei Chachamim, with your money or with your actions, la'hazmin, to take care of their needs, supporting Torah. What's that have to do with anything? 
I stink, but what does it have to do with anything? Because Netzach is Torah. Netzach. Netzach means eternal. So um, Netzach is Torah. So support Torah. It's, it's, he doesn't explain it, but it's, it's a Dover Basha. The Netzach is Torah. <coughs> and the way to deal with Torah is to support it or learn it. But, uh, what, he, what he's saying is that supporting it is more like an Amud of Netzach than, a, uh, than even learning it. Mechabdam, to be Mechabed Talmidei Chachamim, or Lahalo Maaseyem, to speak nicely about Talmidei Chachamim. Kedei Shiz Chasku Ba'avoydo Lahazmin Lam Svarim. There's a certain um, uh, Yetzirah to, to speak against Talmidei Chachamim. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure where it comes from, I think. In the world, it's, uh, I think, um, not here, I don't mean here. But uh, in, in the world at large, the world of uh, Balabatim at large, there's a, something about uh, br uh, bringing down Talmidei Chachamim. I'm not sure what the, what the problem there is. It's hmm? a little kina and a little bit of, uh, you know, you know. I, I, I always think to myself, I always explain that to myself that uh, you know, people are in business, they're a CEO, they're, they're telling 100 people what to do, and, and, and this uh, rabbi who's half his age is telling him what to do. <laughs> How does, that, how does that work out? Like that's so that's so pleasant. There's a lot of different dynamics, but the point is that um, the kiyuma netzach in a person, the way to be makayim netzach is by being mahalo and supporting a tamuchacham and mahana tamuchacham and a chasub. It's a it's a tremendous thing to get a piece of that. Um, to get a piece of that. Why why doesn't he say oneself should be first? That's what I'm saying because we're talking about. Um, First of all, I guess we're talking about for everybody, but um, even if you are a Tamil Chacham, there's a special Indian to support the Tamil Chacham. The, 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 the Indian of Netzach Lohid is to support Tamil Chacham. Doesn't, doesn't I think say, I could explain why. Doesn't no. also say that uh, Am Yisrael is Netzach? Yeah. Yisrael, the Raisa, the Kutcha Brichu. They're all Netzach. But don't forget that the Nitzchias of Kla Yisrael is dependent on Torah. Without Torah, there's no Nitzchis of Kla Yisrael. So, um, let's just finish a paragraph. Kadesh Yitzchasku ba'avoydu lahazmin lam svarim. That was a big deal in the, um, in the 16th century. 15th century to get svarim means, uh, you know, the beginning, probably before the Gutenberg Press, to get svarim for Talbidei Chacham that they could learn. Sarech iskam obeis medrish, build them a building, a building. B'chok ha'yoytzei, Anything that's giving support to Torah. And it's totally in two midos of Netzach and Hod. What the summation of this is. Anything you're doing for Torah. It all comes down to the stage spheres elum and neshe emikri machzikimba. You see, yoni machzikimba v'samcha. We're talking about specifically the mida is not the mida. Learning Torah is a different mida, but the supporting of Torah is the supporting of Netzach and Hal. So that's that's what he says. I'd like to take a few minutes to explain it. What's Netzach? I was thinking this morning in the Zmiras. Do you say this Zmiras Shalshudas? Kel me start there. Should I teach you the nigga? You're on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. <coughs> then I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> the the Kelmi Stater It's very important to Zmiris. It's Chalshudas Zmiris, and it's all based on the Sphiras, which is one of the reasons I like. So it starts with Chachma, Bereshis, Tairoschak, Duma, Bereshuma, Chachmascha, Stuma. Okay, so then we get to, it, there's a lot of information in this Zmiros about the Spheros. We write a safer just on this one Zemer. But when it comes to, um, to um, Netzach and Hoyt, he says as follows. He sing, we sing as follows. This, by the way, uh, just in my mirrors here, it says, Azamer Kel Mistater, Hebrew, Hebrew Rabbi Avram Maimon, is written by Rabbi Avram, Talmidoi Shor Moshe Kordavar, the Talmud of the Tarmidvar. That's the son of the Rambam? No. No. 
When we use it, I'll say there Esser spheres. It's it's based on the ten spheres. Kol chruz al sphera achas. Shehem. I'm just reading the introduction. Him kasher chachma bina chesed gvur tiferes netzachoyd yisoyd malchus. We know that, but uh, that's what he says. So when he comes to netzach and hoyd, he says as follows: Kos chus avos yagein aleinu netzach yisro mitzaraseinu galeinu yivar galus galeinu v'saleinu lenatzayach hamlechas beis Hashem. That's not netzach yet. Here we go. Mi yamin u mi small yinikas hanavim. Netzach v'hoid mehem nimtsayim. Yachin uvoyaz v'shem nikroyim v'chol banayich limudei Hashem. This is what I want to explain in the next few minutes. Mi yamin u mi small, from right and from left, yinikas hanavim, the nevim get their nevua from. What's right and left? If you look at the spheres chart, that's Achan Hoyt are right and left, just as Chesed and Gvur are right and left. Those are the only, the only, uh, and Chachma and Bina are right and left, but that's Kel Mistatir. That's, that's Mistatir. So Netzach and Hoyt, Miyamin U Mismal, Yinikas Hanavim. If you want to understand where Navua comes from, it doesn't come from Chesed, Gvur, or Tiferis, it comes from Netzach and Hoyt. Miyamin U Mismal, Netzach, Yinikas Hanavim, the Yinika of the Navim. Netzach v'hoid mehem nimtsoyim, the manifestation of Netzach. Netzach means what? What's the right um, eternity? eternity? What else does Netzach mean? Hmm? Victory. Right? Anything else? Lam <laughs> Natsayach. What does that mean? Conductor. Hmm? Conductor. Not okay, sure. Three words. Anything else? Get here. Infinity. Infinity? That's eternity. No? There's also commemoration, Hansacha. Hansacha, to make something permanent. Victory, it's interesting, right? Victory and eternity. They're connected because the, the, the victory is the one who's, who's, who's around for the long term. He stays so he doesn't he doesn't get erased by history. So we're, we're the victories of we're the victory victors of, of history because we we've stayed around. We've survived everything. It's good. Yeah, I was uh, I, I was invited a few years ago during the Lebanon War. Uh, you know, when Lebanon was blasting us with this house, so there was a, a chassidah. So I was invited to speak under the chuppah. That's all. I guess they ran out of kibbutz. So they uh, invited me to speak and asked me specifically to speak about the war and uh, everyone should dive into the time of the chuppah for the chayali. Uh, so, uh, so I did. I spoke about uh, um, about Eretz Yisrael. And I spoke about the war. And I spoke about the chayali. And we prayed for them and wished them hatslacha. And but, uh, so uh, next to me, standing next to me, the Sader Kedusha was Rosh Steinzels. So uh, in the middle of my speaking, he says, "Victory! Why don't you speak about victory?" <laughs> so, so I'm like, <laughs> "So he says nobody speaks about victory. Hatzlacha, the Chayyim should have hatzlacha. They should be safe. There's a victory." <laughs> He's so um, and so. He took over by Drasha, <laughs> and he said that um, it's 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 all about Eretz Yisrael. This is what he said: Eretz Yisrael is all about Netzach. It's all about Netzach. Netzach means victory. So, the victory story. Miyamino um, mismal yinikas hanavim. What the nevim say automatically has an eternal value to it. So um, remember this: that um, nevim, the Gemara says, nevim hayu biYisrael kiflayim kiyotze mitzrayim. That there were so many Nevi'im in the history of Klai Yisrael, not a lot of Nevi'im, thousands and hundreds of thousands, Kiflaim, Kiyotzim, Mitzrayim, were Nevi'im. So, what do we have? Memches uh, Nevi'im, uh, Zayin Nevi'ais. Why do we have so few Nevi'im if they're where, where, where they go? So, the Gemara says, the Megillah, Nevua, Shehutzrecha Ladairais, Dichtifu, Nevua, Shehutzrecha Ladairais, Lai Dichtifu. If the, the very, the, there were a lot of Nevuas, but they were not Nogea us. So in order for something, what is the Pshat Dekibar, the Pshat Dekibar is in order for something to get into the Torah, in order for something to get canonized into the Torah, it has to have the quality of? That's not. So Nevua Shehutzer Cholodoros, it's not every Nevua is, is not Netzach. Uh, 
sometimes a person can have Nevoah, have Ruach HaKodesh, right, tell you which uh, stock to invest in, but that's not Letzach. So it, it means to say that if any, just thinking backwards about this, if anybody would ever say that, okay, this part of the Torah is not Nogeos any longer, um, it's, it's, it's perforce wrong because the whole reason it's there is because it's Letzach. It, it's the, the very fact that it's in the Torah means that Baruch HaKodesh said was that even, even Yeshayo and Yerio said much more than what's in their book. Very, even Moshe Rabbeinu said much more than what's, what's in his book. But, but what, what's in the, the Chubash is Netzach. That's, that's, that has to be Netzach. That's the criteria for getting in. Netzach. So Netzach v'hoid mehem nimtzayim. When we, we're, the Netzach and the Hod, which we have available to us, comes from the Nevi'im. The Nevi'im gave us things which are Hutzur Cholodorais, which go on for Netzach. Then we have Yachinu Boaz B'Shem Nikrai. So this is an amazing thing that when Shlomo Melech, this is his own Kiddush, I think, I don't think it, um, by the Mishkan we don't have any such thing. Uh, and the, the, the Shlomo Melech is Mechadish, that should, there should be two magnificent pillars um, in front of the Beis HaMikdash, the entrance to the Beis HaMikdash. Uh, pillars, um, the tachlas of a pillar is to hold up the roof. Uh, but these had nothing on top of it. So the first strange thing about these pillars is that they weren't holding up anything. So the so the lashon of uh, the Rav Chal, I believe, is that pillars usually hold up the roof, but these pillars held up the Shemai. And and the pillars represented two pillars. Like, would it be funny? Like you go brand new building, like face a big dush, and then there's two pillars. So that's <laughs> what are, what are these two pillars for? Magnificent pillars. Like what's the it's funny to have two pillars just for no reason. Um, and then, if that's not funny enough, <laughs> like um, he gave them names. Like, who gives pillars names? Yachin and Boaz. Shalom Aleichem. <laughs> this pillar's name is Yachin, and this pillar's name is Boaz. What's the... Uh, and we don't even know what do those words even mean, Yachin and Boaz. So, um, so it's, it's a strange thing. So here in the Zmiras, we say, Letzach v'hoi behem nimsoi, from the Nevi'im, Yachinu Vayaz B'Shem Nikroim. And the two pillars that Shlomo Abelach put up in front of the base of Igdash were called Yachin and Boaz. One was Keneged Netzach, and one was Keneged Hoid. Because the whole base of Mikdash was Midas Hayisot. The whole base of Mikdash was where heaven touches earth, right? That's Midas Hayisot. We're, we're a place where your your Kaddish Gashmi, Spring Korbanus, etc., all to, from, it's all from this world, all from this earth. Why don't we have a base of English now? Because we don't have Mashiach. Why don't we have Mashiach? Because we don't have Malchus. So Malchus, and, the, and, and what's the, the preempt to Malchus? Yesai. So the base of Mikdash is Yesai. Why didn't it last forever? Because it was Yesai and it wasn't Malchus. The Baishlishi will be Malchus. It was Mashiach. So we got, we got as far as Mashiach ben Yosef, but we didn't get as far as Mashiach ben David. First Mashiach? First Mashiach also, Kinira. You know, it's a, it's a um, it, it, I, think, I think a fallacy that people think that, you know, Rabbi Kiva supported Bar Kokhba, who was a false messiah. You know, so like uh, Tzarechion, Rabbi Kiva would have it or Rabbi Kiva didn't make mistakes. Well, Rabbi Kiva, he, he didn't support Bar Kokhba as Mashiach ben David. He supported Bar Kokhba as Mashiach ben Yosef. Well, and he has died. Um, he, he, never, he never meant that he was Mashiach ben David. He wasn't Davidic. He didn't have a Davidic dynasty. He wouldn't, uh, but he, what he saw was that before there's a Mashiach ben David, Rabbi Kiva, before, before in order to bring Mashiach, there has to first be a Mashiach ben Yosef. And the Mashiach ben Yosef, like Yosef was Mitzrayim, the, the purpose, the tachlis of Mashiach ben Yosef is to be Masada the Gashmius of Klai Yisrael. And once you're Masada the Gashmius of Klai Yisrael, so now you can start talking about the, the Mashiach, about Malchus based David, which is, which is the Rufnius of Klai Yisrael. You know, if Cook held that the, the, the modern state of Israel is a, um, um, what's the word, a, uh, a culminative culmination. Yeah, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> a, a culminative Mashiach ben Yosef, meaning all together. Okay, <laughs> it's all it's all together. 
like in other words, in other words, what he was saying, the chiddush of Cook is um, I think it was yard side yesterday, right? Uh, Cook, 80th yard side. Uh, but the 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 uh, the whole, in other words, Mashiach Ben Yosef is a concept, not even a person. That's that's the chiddush, a concept, and it doesn't even have to be from. I'm not uh, obvious. You don't need me to tell you that not everybody agrees with Rav Cook on this, but but this is this is this is the issue. This is the machlokes of the of the times over here. Do they have to? Can it be? Can it even be secular? But Rav Cook held it could even be secular. So Bar Kochba, like Rabbi Kiva supported Bar Kochba. This is not such a, a like a kasha as Mashiach Ben Yosef, and uh, Yosef wasn't secular, but he was he was doing a sec. He was the CEO. I mean, he was a secular. So, so that's that's all um, yisod. That's all so. But in front of the base of Mikdash, the entrance into the base of Mikdash was Yachin and Boaz, two pillars with names that went nowhere and did nothing, and they represented Netzach Yachin and Boaz represented Netzach and Hoyt. Comes the um, that's that's Yachin and Boaz. So it's beautiful. Those mirrors, Binyamin, Ume Small, Yenika, Sanaviim, Netzach, Vahoi, Mayhem, Nimsayim. They come from them. Yachin and Boaz. B'shem Nikraim, that Shlomo Amel actually gave them a name. I th- again, I say, I think it was his Chiddush, or Nevoah, or something. The Chol Banayich, and all of us, Limudei Hashem are learning Torah. Back to the time of Tvar, Bakesher Torah. Uh, the the, the um, Svarim say that besides for Yachin and Boaz being Netzach and Hod, Yachin and Boaz were also, Netzach and Hod and Yachin and Boaz, were also Moshe and Aaron. And it was also Shama Rizacha. It was also David and Shlomo. So what's the um, Moshe Aaron? So let's let's look at the trifecta here. Um, Netzach Hoid, keep the Heshman. Uh, Moshe Aaron. David Shlomo. David was Netzach, Shlomo was Hoyt. Moshe was Netzach, Aaron was Ho. Netzach is Netzach, Hoyt is Hoyt. Yachin is Netzach, Boaz is Ho. So I want to explain, and this becomes very practical, very little So now everything was up in the air. Let's, let's, let's talk Tachlis over here. There's, there's two parts to. There's two parts to uh, life, certainly two parts to, to Yiddishkeit. Um, there's the vision, and then there's the practical implementation. Um, the vision, specifically, some, a lot of people have visions, shtus, good, I don't know. Moshe's vision was a vision of Netzach. Moshe received the Torah from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not a temporary situation. Everything Hashem says is automatically eternal coming from an eternal being. So, um, so what Hashem said to Moshe was Netzach. But, but Moshe Rabbeinu, um, obviously I'm just saying this to be, it's obviously I'm not putting anybody down, not Moshe, not Aaron, but I'm just explaining the limitations of, of their roles. Um, Moshe Rabbeinu was Netzach, but he was not the implementer. He was not the implementer. Moshe Rabbeinu um, could not bring Israel and Teretz Yisrael. It wasn't the because because Netzach is not an implementation. Netzach is an ideologue. Uh, Netzach, Netzach is a vision. So Moshe Rabbeinu said to Hakadosh Baruch Hu at the burning bush, um, Hashem said to him, "Speak to Paro, Leicha Paro, or else for I'm not the I'm not a spokesman. I'm not the I'm not the one to, you know, for Rosh Hashiva, you know. <laughs> I'm not the one to, to implement. So go to Aaron. Aaron, who ye neviach. Aaron will be your mouthpiece. Navi. Um, so Moshe was Netzach, and Aaron was the spokesman. So uh, the implementer. He spoke to Paro. So he was Hod. Netzach and Hod. So Netzach and Hod is Moshe and Aaron. Yeah? Um, there's, you can't have, as the Tamar tells us, that Netzach and Hon 
are independent concepts, but they're intertwined. You can't separate them. Because Netzach without Hod, Moshe Rabbeinu said, I can't go. Hod without Netzach, what am I, what am I implementing? It doesn't make any sense. So it requires maybe one person could have both. That could be. But in this case, um, Netzach was one thing, and Hod was another thing. Lech Parah had to be two. It had to be Moshe and Aaron. The problem um, of if you keep make if you keep them independent, so the problem is then you have great vision and nothing gets done. So you have Netzach, a lot of Torah, that, um, but you, but you're not going to get into Eretz Yisrael. It's just Netzach. You're not going to free the Jews from Mitzrayim with just Netzach. You have to have an implementation plan. You have to have hold in place. It was all part of the plan. That was what he was teaching him. This is what he was teaching him. Um, to have hold without Netzach equals Egel Hazov. Because Moshe was not there. What am I implementing? So um, we end up with an Egel Hazov. So what's important here is that Moshe Va'aron B'choy Hanov, that the Moshe and Aaron are independent concepts, if you will, but must be intertwined. Because you need Netzach and Hod, you need Moshe and you need Aaron. Otherwise, you have a great vision without implementation, or worse, maybe, you have implementation without the vision. You have the, you have the Egel Hazav. You look at, I speak at Tishabov about the uh, Pesel Micha, which was, uh, the, uh, Pesel Micha was the, the uh, Unterstrasura that, took, the, that, that drove the, um, you know, the, that, it, it, that drove the Egel Hazav, and, and all through, it was all Pesel Micha. It was all this implementation, Tachlis Lamaisa, without the, the charge of the Torah. This is what Avodazar is. This is what Avodazar is. But uh, there's, a, there's a Yitzhahara for this because Tachlis. So it comes out like um, it, it was not Moshe, but in fact it was Aaron that wore the big day kahuna. Oiz Vahadar Lavusha. He was Midas Ahod. Midas Ahod was the one who had the beautiful ornamental. Begadim, he was the one who was able to actually work in the base of Mikdash Tachlis. That was all Midas Ahod. Um, and, and also, Aaron had the Koach to be, um, um, to make Shalom, the Roydev Shalom, Oyevis Abriyos, Karavan Lutaira, says in Pirkeavos. That was all the Midah, Heve Mistabek, Heve Mital Midah, Shal Aaron, Oyev Shalom, Roydev Shalom, Shalom, Shalom Bitzaratzmai. Is, is the Mita of, uh, uh, of Hod. See, Shalom, is just while we're here, to, to have Shalom without Netzach is actually, I, I believe, a negative thing. I'm just thinking about the Middle East. Or, or um, like, just to have Shalom, it's not real Shalom if it doesn't have Netzach. To have Shalom without Netzach is to compromise, and, and ultimately, that structure caves in. What's the definition of Hod? So Hod, the definition, you really know the definition means the glory, the beauty, right? The beauty, Hod. Like Hod. Splendor. So splendor. So what I don't know what Splendor means, but... but uh, <laughs> what is that? No, just like, what? So what the outer beauty. The, sh the outer beauty. Tiferis is also... Tiferis is also... Um, why? Tiferis is Splendor. Uh, uh, Tiferis is where Chesed and Gvera come together. It's also beauty. It's also beautiful. The Hod is the Mida of, of the, the manifestation of Netzach. So, so if you have Netzach, I, 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 it took me, by the way, I just want to, um, for full transparency, it took me years to understand this. Uh, um, what I, I think I understood almost everything. I couldn't understand Hod until um, I, I, I finally went to Rav Scheinberg and I never asked him these kind of things. And I said to him, what's Hod? <laughs> So he said, like Aaron Akoy, the implementation of Netzach. <laughs> All right, glad. <laughs> glad that's easy. Um, so this is a great book, if I may say so myself. I was like, like a bus, because here I explain Netzach and Hoyt, um, and it's, it just, 
it, it took years to come to the simple two pages of a 35 shekel book, but it's, it's, it took years to come to what Netzach and Hoyt is explained well here. But, but, um, so here we have Moshe and Aram, Netzach and Hoyt. David HaMelech, let's take this a step further, um, conceived of the Beis HaMikdash, but didn't build the Beis HaMikdash. Shlomo was the ultimate in Hoyt. Hmm? It still can be open at the time of the beginning. It still can be open without David. Like That's right. Mm -hmm. You needed that stuff and hoy. Suushar Mershechen. So they had, you needed David to open up the gates. The gates. But um, but it was it was Shlomo Melech who was the great implementer. He wasn't just the implementer of, of the Beis HaBikdash. He was the implementer of, of brought to Malchus Yisrael. David was a concept. Shlomo was Lamaisa. Shlomo to he made he made deals and peace treaties with all the different. It was just like if you read through the, uh, the Tanakh, basic Shlomo Melech, like you know, uh, he, we were the superpower at the time of Shlomo Melech. We were literally a superpower. We were um, Lahavdil, Russia, America it was, it was Israel, it was, uh, trading millions and millions of, 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 of cattle and, and wood and all kinds of things and, and every nation just needed to get a piece of Israel, which is, this was Shlomo Melech's Chachma. His Chachma was not just cutting babies in half, you know. His, his, his Chachma was about um, creating a world, uh, a world scene in the, in, in the middle, in the known world, really. He was basically Balach Bekipa, uh, Shlomo Melech. We never had anything like that. That was the implementation of David HaMelech's understanding or concept. So David HaMelech is, is you know, is like, like David HaMelech wrote, uh, wrote Tehillim, but uh, Shlomo HaMelech wrote Rishlei and Kohelas and Shira Shira, very, very um, impl implemental. But these, that's in the, in the realm of Beis I mean, could me that David was, was a very practical person. I'm not saying he wasn't practical, but he, his dreams were not realized. Bechal. Uh, he, he he died be a sir. Um, I'm saying when we examine that second point, is it just in the, the context of Shina or is it in a, or is it in a everything, permanent, everything. In a permanent context? Look, there's not soft people, there's hard people. You know. It, it, it's um I think like like uh, Gedolim, real Gedolim, so um you know, they, they're, they're able to integrate into themselves, you know, a Netzach and a Hod. Netzach and a Hod. Um, it's, it's a, uh, the, the Chazanish was, was um, like, you know, could, could, take, could take a heart, a human heart apart and put it back together again. It, it was, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it was complete Hod because he didn't do it. He wasn't a surgeon, but, but he was able, you know, was able to give business advice at, at, at Medical advice and everything like real Gedolei Adar, like is this culmination of Moshevar, which is very difficult to be. Uh, but it, what you find today more is you have like um, you know these Netzach people, and then like uh, what do they call them, the Mishpak, <laughs> you know the, the guy who's implementing, you know, the, right. and they may usually make a mess of everything. So was Yeshua a combination? So. Was Yeshua combination? Because he brought us into so Yeshua so. was very interesting because Yeshua. Um, was not our own. He was like we spoke about like the Pnei Halavana. He was the Pnei Halavana. So he was he was the implementer of Eretz Yisrael, but and he was taking the difference. Okay, yes. To take to the difference between Yoshua and Aaron is that Yoshua culminated Netzach and Hart. But on, but on the one hand, but on the on the other hand, uh, he did this with Aniva Afsiyot. He made himself into nothing. The reason why Yoshua was like Nispad Ka'alacha is they, they thought of Yeshua as like, um, like a, almost like a nobody because all he was was the moon. He was a reflection of Moshe Rabbeinu. So there was a netzach <coughs> going through a hope. Co a complex thing, uh, Yeshua. But let's stick with the easy one. Uh, Moshe and Aaron, uh, I mean, for me it's complex. You spent four years learning Yeshua. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the netzach, netzach and hoi of Moshe. So again, we have netzach, yenikas hanavim. Um, so we have netzach and hod. And you have Moshe and Aharon, the, 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 the visionary and the implementer. And then you have David and Aaron, David and Shlomo, 
which is the again the the the, the dream, the vision, and the Shlomo Melech, the the implementer. And Shlomo Melech built the Beis Hamikdash, so he put up two pillars called Yachin. What's the Pshat Yachin? Taich Yachin. Chana. Chana. And what's Taich Boaz? That's right. So it was Yachin and Boaz, David and Shlom and Moshe. And I was like, there's, there's, there's the Hachana and there's the implementation. Follow them Yachin and Boaz. And, and um, that, was, that, was, that was what the Hachana for the Beis Hamikdash was to walk through the Yachin and Boaz. Sounds like Netzach uh, should be on top of Boaz, doesn't it? It's like the flow is coming down that right? Yeah, that's an important question. Why, why are they side by side? Because it's Moshe Vahara. Malamed, the Gemara says, right? Rashi brings, Malamed Shishkulam Hain. Malamed Shishkulam Hain. I just think it's so important that you can't have, you can't have um, one without Havaloi Ha. You can't have Moshe without Aaron. You can't have Aaron without Moshe. There's Moshe Moshe's complaint and Aaron waiting around for Moshe to come. Barah, Aaron, Barah, Aaron so Moshe, okay, now I have what to implement. <laughs> I have what to implement. And there was never any uh, kina between them because it was very clear the two functions, two, the two separate functions. Rabbi Yehuda Nasi was a combination of maybe, both. Maybe Rabbi Yehuda Nasi we spoke about was a culmination. Different Gedolei Hadar, real serious Gedolei Hadar, culmination of Netzach and Hoyt. And then you can come to, I think, Rabbi Kiva, a combination of Natsach and Hoyt. He was, you know, on the one hand, he was the, the Basadr, the, one of the first Basadr of Shas, and on the other hand, he was bringing Mashiach with Bar Kochba, right? He was, uh, he was supporting Bar Kochba. So it was all to lead to, to what, he was, what he wanted with Bar Kochba, I repeat, was to get to be the Sayyusot. Okay. Am I clear with this, or am I confusing? Yeah. 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 We, I, I, we told we starting from Moshe the Arab. What about Avram and Sarah? I mean, why do we start? You can start from Avram and Sarah because that's Chesed and Hur. That's Chachma and Bina. Meaning, it was it was on a more ethereal level. There was no Avram Avinu started. He built an oil, it was a shtickle base of Mikdash, and uh, and Kol's man Kayum. Rashi says, as long as Sarah was alive. There was a Ner Tamid, Ner Dolok, Ner Shabbos, Ner Shabbos. There was a Lechem upon him. There was Chala in, 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 the, in, the, in the tent. Right, that's what it says. And when Yitzhak came, it was again, but that's, it was a Beis Hamikdash in, in, in an earlier stage, in an earlier Gilgal, than the actual Beis Hamikdash. And the actual Beis Hamikdash was an earlier Gilgal than the second Beis Hamikdash. I don't know where that even fits in. But the Bayi Shlishi that we're going to have soon. So that's that's going to be a real Netzach Hoid Yisoid Malchus. Well, it's all it's all about just to, to make this simple. It's all about bringing the Shechina into this world. What we're learning here is the technology. How does it get there? And, and it just doesn't just get there. <laughs> there has to be a, a strategy here, a derech. And the derech is, of course, Chesed Gvurd Avra Yitzchak. But the the strategy here is Netzach Vahoid. Um, and, and we, we need to implement Netzach Vahot. So, so there's a, the Netzach, it's just so beautiful with the, uh, with, with the Zerus, with the, how the Torah starts out. Netzach Vahot, Ksasim B'Shutafim L'Shneihem, Moshe Ba'aroin, Malamet Shishkulein, Uksasim Yuchadim, Kol Echad L'Atzmai. But look at the Harbon that happened when Moshe Rabbeinu went missing. And look at the Harbon that happened when Moshe Rabbeinu um, was just Netzach, and and there was no height. There was no implementation. He says Aaron, and he couldn't go and tear it too strong. So uh, that that's the Netzach Vahod. Now what we have to discover on what is it Monday Sunday Sunday, Sunday is and v'chol banayich limudei Hashem. It comes to Torah. Devara says that you know how you get Netzach and Hod. Learn some Torah. So Torah. Let's say this, that, that Torah is like this, that there's, in Torah is built in a Netzach and a Hod. Like you have the Netzach, the Nitzchis of Torah, and then you have the Halacha of Torah. It's just an amazing thing. It's Halacha Lamaisa. And, and the whole, the, the real Torah, 
it, you know, we spent, I, I, I once heard from, uh, my ears I heard from Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky, Zeyfet Tzadik Levracha, we're talking to a group of people, a group of Bacher, but like, like um, what's the right way to learn, and you know, all that stuff to Bacher and talk about, like Derek Halimut and all that. So he said, Zezeyer Pushit, I remember his words, it's very, very simple. He says, until you're 20 years old, you learn how to learn. After that, you learn. <laughs> I hey, don't learn. So the, it means to say that that what is learning, what is real learning, la suke shmeitz, I'll leave it to Hilsa. We don't have any professors uh, in, in Kla Yisrael. It's a mistake. I mean, it's, uh, there's Rosh Hashivas, but there's, it's, um, it, the, the learning Torah is la suke shmeitz, I'll leave it to Hilsa. So I'm starting with the Netzach, and I'm building all the way, I'm being Mishtel Shell all the way to Halacha Lamaisa. Can I pick up this? Can I move this? Can I wear this? Can I garden this? Can I eat that fruit? Because it has to come to this to this world because that's Netzach and hope. Also, like the, the like the visions, I think it's just very important that like if we have any um, visions of what should be, so like everybody, um, or at least most most good people, um, talk the talk, but very few people walk the walk. So like if people think that there should be, let's say, um, uh, just giving an example, let's say people think there should be Achtus and Klai Yisrael, Yisrael Koyach. <laughs> is there anybody disagree? <laughs> is there any, is anybody disagree? Does, uh, does, uh, does the Prime Minister disagree? Does Lapid disagree? Who disagrees with, uh, does, does it's very hard to disagree? Everybody disagrees, but the Shailah is who's doing it, you know? So there's like a lot of nets off there, but no hope. Soifa Batela. <laughs> it's a garden. It's a it's a, it's Soifa Batela. So I, I always say like I just I always say this like, I always say like I hate Achdus. Like <laughs> like what does that mean? Because that's like um, it, that's like hoid without Netzach. You know, just stop. We shall we shall overcome. You know, it's a kumbaya. Kumbaya. You know what I mean? This is not. This doesn't do it. It, it caves in. So to have to have uh, caves in. I mean, look, I, I, I lived through the 60s. It's not there anymore. It just caves in, you know. But, uh, but, but if you have the combination, just even personally in our life, and I think this is where the term of is going, that, that to have a culmination of, to, help, to have a healthy balance of vision and implementation is to have Netzach and Hoyt. But, uh, like, this is the, I don't know if this is my Hoyt, but I just wanted to be your Hoyt also, to take, to take all the beautiful ideas, you know, you know, Achtos, Taira, um, all the beautiful ideas, and, and build some hode into it. Like, you got, you got to really sit down and strategize, like, how are we going to actually do this? Uh, how's this actually going to come lamaisa? How's it going to come to fruition? And if you can't do it yourself, like, you're, that, that's not so bad, then you're a Moshe Rabbeinu. So then you need a partner. The Moshe Rabbeinu said, I need a partner. So he says, okay, you have a brother. Your brother is Ara. He'll be, he'll be your Navi. And you, together, you'll free the Jewish people out of its right. Tachlis, correct. Together you'll go and tear its Yisrael. You know, together you'll be able to bring water for the people, and together you'll get the Torah. But the minute they split up, it was, it was a bias. So this is what we have to do. Like, you have to find our Netzach, we have to find our Hoy. Like, learn how to learn? Learn. That's why we have the Temple Institute now. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to be back.